Welcome back to Character Select. David Kylan back for more Scald Against the Black Priory. And I just noticed that these clouds are moving across the screen, and that's actually really cool. Uh, new recording session. We have fallen off a boat that was attacked by a Kraken, or Cthulhu, or both. Kraken Cthulhu. Kraken Cthulhu? Kraken Cthulhu. <laughs> and uh, we're deep in the drink and trying desperately not to die. Also, we have a level up. Oh, we do. Okay. Slowly, you drag yourself from the cold water under the relative safety of solid rock. You try and fail to stagger forwards as exhaustion washes over you in a great black wave. Oblivion takes you before you hit the rocky ground. Hey, and that's over. the game, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> You're awoken by the cacophonous cries of gulls circling you. Your body is a mass of pain and exhaustion, covered in a thousand cuts and scrapes. The large white birds gather around you in eager anticipation. What a magnificent feast your bloated corpse would make. Not today. Minutes or perhaps hours pass as you lay unmoving, trying desperately to will some warmth back into your body. Finally, you manage to force your eyes open. By some miracle, you are not only alive, but you find yourself on the shores of the cursed island of Idra. Strewn around you is the wreckage of the Zephyr. You see no other survivors. Lest you find equipment and companions soon, you may have cheated death in vain. Your character is critically injured. This means you have taken enough damage to reduce both your vitality and wounds. The green bar under your character's portrait represents your vitality score. It's a buffer to your wounds, and as long as you have vitality left, you won't take serious wound damage. Vitality is easily lost, easily regained. Potions and healing magic restore your vitality, even during combat. The second purple bar represents your wounds. Losing wounds is much more serious than losing vitality. Reaching zero wounds means your character falls unconscious. Wounds can only be recovered by resting or leveling up. Whenever you take wound damage, you gain an injury condition, as indicated by the icon on the portrait. Injuries confer serious penalties to your character, can only be removed by resting. Making camp and resting is the surest way to restore an injured character. Note that resting is not possible in every location, so plan accordingly. Mm -hmm. This all makes sense. Celerin reaches level 2 and gets plus 5 vitality. Sweet. That's lucky. For the first time in your life, you are overcome with a sense of purpose. The path ahead will undoubtedly be difficult, but you are certain it is the one you are supposed to take. And it fully healed us. Nice. Uh, so... What does this get us? All allies get lesser haste and inspired. That, and that's actually pretty good. Um, we can also get... Good. Uh... Axe. We don't know what we want to do for swords yet. Yeah, for um, weapons yet. Tough as nails, we could get up to increased vitality to get plus three vitality. And then not today. First time you take wound hit point damage in combat, you automatically get back. That's two to pretty strong. Yeah. 12 plus 1d6 vitality. Jesus. Charger. Charger! Smashing charge! Um, so do we want to build towards this? We won't get it quite yet, but... I think building towards that's a really good idea, yeah. Not today seems like it could save the game. <laughs> Probably will at some point. Um, oh, there was something that I wanted to check. In the settings, just before we started, we found this. A nostalgia mode? I want to see what it does. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, this looks like an Ultima game now. Yep. Holy crap. <laughs> I don't know that I like it, but... I don't know, yeah. that's Yeah, it's just got the different background, yeah. really. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool. It's not that much different. Okay, it's fucking dark. It's really dark. Oh, it's oh, light now. We got a little bit of light back. I spotted something. Uh, we've got a scream shot. What's this? Okay. Uh, a pitcher and some gold. What All the right. Heck? Well, small carving made from walrus teeth. It's worth money, so we'll take it. That's worth more money, so we'll take it. Ooh, magic potions. 
our money, a bone comb, and a stained glass bottle. I'm sorry, a stained glass bottle, not a stained glass bottle. Okay. Huh. Um. Are we. Are we stuck? Oh, wait, maybe not. Wading out of the freezing surf, you lose your footing on the slick stones and fall heavily to the ground. There is a sudden blur of movement in the corner of your eye, and as you frantically try to get to your feet, you slip again. Standing above you on a large rock is a young woman dressed in nautical guild livery. Wet auburn hair clings to her face in the cold wind. Okay. Magi's balls. Uh, what? Yeah. Okay. Never mind. You got it. You got it. Okay. Magi's balls. I was sure it was the only one to make it ashore. The woman leaps from the rocks and helps you back on your feet. Looking you up and down, she fetches a wineskin from her belt and offers it to you. It's fine. I, I just leveled up. I'm fully healed. <laughs> <laughs> the skin is nearly empty, save for a last mouthful of brandy. You drink it down greedily and slowly, you feel a modicum of warmth creep into your bones. You recognize the young woman's face now. She must have served on the Zephyr. What's your name? Oh, right, right, right. I'll, I'll handle the NPCs. Okay. Katiana is my name. The crew calls me Cat, or rather they did, I suppose. She looks up and down the beach with a furrowed brow. Listen, you have to get up. We need to get off this beach before you freeze, or worse. Worse? There's something wrong about this place. Can't you feel it? Like a taste in your mouth, and there are beasts, huge sea creatures I ain't never seen before. I saw them dragging the dead crewmen into a cave west of here. At least I hope they were dead. Cat shudders. What do you suggest? We need supplies and shelter first. There might be salvage to be had among the wreckage on the beach. I also think I spotted the chimney of a house just north of the cliffs. A warm fire and some food would go a long way. Cat offers you her hand and drags you to your feet. She looks pensively towards the west. Also, as I said, there's a cave west of here. I think the crabs dragged off most of the corpses there, but what if... What if they're not all dead? Might be other survivors, like you and me. What's more, there's a chance one of the officers was carrying the seal when the boat sank. If we can find it, the Nautical Guild would give anything to have it returned to them. Seal? Captain Seal. It's a medallion of sorts that's carried on every guild vessel. It's not just for show, either. They say the seals are forged by the Magi, and that they have secret powers, but I don't know nothing about that. All I know is the guild pays well to have one returned if a ship is ever lost. It's always worn by one of the officers, but I don't think the captain had it on him when the fight broke out. Might have been the first mate was carrying it, and I think he was still alive when the ship sank. So I would say that cave to the west is where we should start looking. You ready to go? Do we have questions, or...? Not really. I, not a lot I'm, to have questions about. I'm not really sure how she survived, but, you know. I'm not really the magic sure. Magic of storytelling. I'm not really sure how we survived, so I guess I can't really throw stones. <laughs> yes, yeah. let's go. Good. I found this bow in a cargo crate. We'd best find you a weapon, too, as soon as possible. I suspect we'll need it before long. Together, you begin to move off the beach and towards whatever darkness dwells in the island's interior. Alright, so she is Cat. Cat. Alright. She is a thief. Uh, a thief sailor. Okay, so she's got agility and then basic skills and everything, or basic levels and everything else. Not too smart, but, you know, neither are we. Athletics, stealth, survival, thievery. Okay. She's got some arrows, some thieves tools, a club and a bow, a crude bow, okay. All right, so, gain the ability to hide whilst in combat, attacking whilst hidden triggers the backstab attack, okay. Cool. Tradecraft, three ranks gets us backstab, or allows care to perform backstab attacks against vulnerable targets. Plus three backstab bonus, increased stealth, increased movement. That seems like the first place to start, right there. Okay, so we gotta put three in there to get at least that. 
To get backstabber, yeah. Yeah. What do you consider a light weapon? Uh, save and exit. Hold on. Is this a light weapon? It's a light bow. Yep. That's a light club. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so she really doesn't get anything but bows and blades. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Okay. She's a thief. Okay, so we can probably put some points into this. Because that will immediately... The crude bow has a minus one to accuracy, so that immediately negates it. Yep. Uh, piercing damage, light weapon accuracy again, pierce armor. Mm. Ignores the target's soak value. That's cool. That's that cool. really cool. We can't quite get it, but we can start towards it. Okay. And then, well, yeah, we'll put a point in there. That's fine. Okay, but we still need to find... Uh, this might be a good time to level up. Yeah, we've yeah, done that. Yeah, we, we got it. Thanks. So we're okay. going east. Yeah, I'm looking for gear. Hey, look, oh, gear. Oh, yeah, short sword. We have an S word. Uh, it's a piece of garbage, but you know what? It's better than literally harp this. Yeah, like, what, what do you want at this point? Um, how do we... It's a rusty hunk of metal we got from a barrel full of salt water. Like, Perfect. F5 saves. Good to know. Ah, that is good to know. There's a dead guy. Sailor's corpse. Tunic, hood, awesome. light club. Yeah, we'll loot that. Gonna take your shit. <laughs> you don't need it anymore. Uh, so this is worse because nope. it does less damage. Yep, worse. Okay. Crit value is also lower. She's using a crude club, so this is better. Okay. But I want to make sure she's using this. Okay. That's oh, concerning. Cool bones. I like the bones. It's a big fish. Was a big fish. Oh, a ration. Adventuring staples. Where's this cave? Another barrel. Ah. Ugh. Gross. The stench of rotting flesh fills your nostrils. Ahead of you, grotesquely misshapen crustacean horrors feast greedily upon the corpses of the dead crew of the Zephyr. Oh, she's a PC now. Yep. Blasted horrors. Cat spits their gritted teeth. What manner of forces spawn these creatures? Okay, so what if we hide? Hide. Nope. <laughs> Draw steel. Okay, Blow so we need to. Nope, she needs to be nope. back. Yeah. We need to be right up in. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice crit. Crit hit. Ow. Oh, good, it went after her. Soap minus two. Missed. Uh. Hey, how come I'm not seeing the dice? You don't see dice in combat to keep it going uh. fast. Oh, okay. Ooh, chitin. Okay, cave. can't loot that body. Ooh, spooky cave. A foul cave. Eons worth of the sea's ravage upon the land has given birth to this cave. That From its is depths, a fucking sentence. <laughs> right? That sorry. indeed is a sentence. Oh boy, sorry. From its depths, a stench of seaweed and rotting flesh rises. So foul is it that it feels like some evil entity attempting to force its way through the pores of your skin into the core of your being. Try not to vomit. Three plus two d6. Oh, uh, we switched to red dice with pips. Oh yeah. 
Hey. hey! Never punished. Stealing your resolve, you manage to calm your breathing. Though the stench persists, you manage to push the image of foul things in the darkness, feasting on the spilling entrails of swollen sea corpses from your mind. You carry on into the darkness. I don't like this place. I feel this like this, this game needs the narrator from um, uh, Darkest Dungeon. <laughs> we need the darkest dungeon there. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, make ready. Deploy the archer off to the side. Oh, shit. That is a big crabbo. That's a big crabbo. Yeah. Ow. I don't like that big crabbo at all. Yeah. You should I gotta... probably uh. move yourself down in the way. Uh, oh, he had to disengage. Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck knockers. Okay, that's a good hit. Ow. Oh, they're, well, they're all pissed. Around him. Oh, that no. Is... This could be bad. Uh. Oh, that's oh, no. very not good. Oh, no. Ah. All right, Selrin. I need you to fucking get a big hit here, buddy. Uh, good enough, I guess. Do we have anything to heal? We don't. No. All we've got is magic. Oh, magic doesn't help us at all. Oh, that doesn't no. help us at all, God. Injured. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> this is very bad. Yeah. Oh, okay. Inspiring kill. Oh, he's panicked. Ooh, we panicked it. Oh, well, oh, there we go. Injured leg. Oh, no. Oh, he's down. He's down. A critical backstab. All right. Now they don't know where she is. So she's going to introduce herself with a backstab. Alert. Alert. With another backstab. <laughs> Holy shit. I don't know why they can't see her, but damn, she know. is murdering them. Fuck you, crab. Oof, good win. More kite. Alright. <sighs> He's still alive. But minus it's one not strength, good. minus one movement, minus four dodge. Okay. Woof. I don't think. Wrecked. I don't think we want to camp in here. No. A lantern. Ooh, A lantern. We need that. Yeah. Uh. T -t -t Come on. Press T to equip. Uh, I have to equip it here and then go oh. boop. Ta da! Okay, so she has Thievery 5 versus Difficulty 10, so that shouldn't be too bad. Unlocked. Alright. Crude Dagger. Oh, real... Force... Some real, real armor. Actual armor. Give her the. Uh... The other stuff? Oh no, that's just clothing. Oh goodness. Yeah. It does nothing for us other than the fact that, you know, we're not naked. Yeah. Okay, so this does less damage. Has a much higher fucking crit value though. Damn. Alright, we'll save here. Ooh. Old and ruined shipping crates litter this part of the cave. Only smugglers would use a place like this to store their goods. Perhaps there are other similar caches to be found on the outer aisles. Hmm. Into the water. Years Probably wishing. safe. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Large, misshapen crabs emerge from the water all around you. Intentionally or not, the seemingly mindless beasts have lain an ambush for you. To the last. Um. It was a problem. Oh, this is bad. Oh, well, down we go again. All right, you got your you got your blade. Fuck him up. That's not fucking him up. Oh no, we're done. This is probably we're gonna have to reload. Yep. Yeah. We'll just uh. Reload. <laughs> yeah. Save scum.
It's what we do. All right, let's try and go. Don't this go way. that way. <laughs> well, we're gonna have to go that way at some point. Clearly, it's an yeah, but direction. we need to withdraw and camp or something. Ooh. A strangely haunting piping can be heard from the caves ahead. Surely it must be the wind. Then again, it rises and falls with an eerie sense of musicality that does nothing to set your mind at ease. Forge ahead. I like the sound of that. So we can't camp here. Right. Ah, shit. Oh, no. Bats. Bats. Bat problems. All right, she's got first blow. Not what I intended for you to do, but okay. Good charge. Ha ha! There are a lot of bats. Please, dear God, give us more than one attack around. Action economy. Good kill, good kill. That inspiring kill is doing work. Well, not that much work. Ah! All right. Well, no, the panicked really did actually did help. That made a big difference. Ha! Okay. Oh! Oh, down he goes. One damage was all it took. Yeah, he's only got one hit point, man. I... <laughs> it's just, it's just. Oh, backstab! Backstab! Can they not She's see her? It's because the lantern went out when he fell, so now oh. it's dark. She did 13 piercing damage. Wow. Fucking hell. That's great. Looks like he can only have two injuries. Yeah, we're not getting more fucked up. You had nearly grown accustomed to the foul stench that lingers in these caves, but now it once more assaults your senses with renewed vigor. Rolling out of the eastern passage like so many black tendrils probing for a way into the very core of your being. Whatever lies ahead must be at the center of the rot that permeates this pit. Forge ahead! Seven or better? Never punished! <laughs> <laughs> Through grit alone, you refuse to let the foulness find purchase, and you fight down the nausea that wells up inside you. Okay, let's uh, examine this way. I feel like getting closer to the awful, horrible stench is probably not in our best interest right now. Great. Oh, sorry. Thank, thank God, booze. Let's drink our pain away. <sighs> what does it do? I don't know. Let's find out. Removes conditions. Adds conditions fortified will intoxicated. <laughs> Removes conditions with tag afraid. <laughs> Plus two willpower, minus one agility, intellect, awareness, and initiative. It's literally liquid courage. So. Apparently, when you drink it, you just take the whole thing and drop it. Oh, we found a way out. And we can camp. Can we camp here? <sighs> Wonderful. We need food. Uh, use it to feed the party and select camp activities for the party members before resting. Who's Always auto as uh, just names. Oh, this is an example. Oh, yeah. Okay. To fully recover, your party members must be well fed. Normally, 10 points of food is required per party member to recover 100%. If less than the required amount is added, your party will only partially recover. Add food from your inventory by double clicking it. Note that prepared meals add a lot more food per item than raw ingredients. Okay. So you got crafting stations to craft meals from raw ingredients. Also, need to select camp activities from your party members. These provide bonuses based on your character's skills. Cat probably should fletch. If she can. Uh, so we need 20 and we have 11. Well, Cat's not hurting that badly. Yeah. Oh, she could... Uh, small chance to create a number of hunting arrows depending on their crafting skill. That's what I think she ought to try. As the motivated condition, what's motivated? Small XP award. So... What if we forage? Yeah, that makes sense. Because our survival is three. Yep. The food found cannot be consumed until the next rest period, so. I don't know where we got an egg either, so. Alright, it gets so us better. Too heavily wounded to work. Failed the Fletch fail arrows. It's easy, easy. Okay. Alright, you know what? Well, partial recovery is partial nothing. recovery. Yeah, better way better than, than nothing. nothing. Okay, so back There's to the There's a dude cave. up there. There's a dude up there. I see him. 
I don't think we can get up there. Ooh, eggs. Haha. -ha. Okay, do we want to go back into the cave or do we want to talk to this guy we, first? We should go talk to this guy first. Okay. Hey, guy. Standing on the edge of the cliff is a crewman from the Zephyr lucky enough to have made it ashore. The man is swaying and looks in shock. I saw it! By the dead, I just saw it out there! The thing that sunk us is still out there! The man begins jabbering incoherently. Oh man, I'm so glad we talked to that guy. <laughs> There's some eggs uh, over or past him that might be reachable on top of the cave mouth. There's also this star spawn. Star. Like to, mm. Right there, to the south. Yep. Yeah. Hey! Sweet, delicious eggs. Pixel hunting! <laughs> well, yeah, it's not, pi not necessarily pixel hunting, because we can do this. Oh, right. Good point. Okay, so this is go. this is not progress. This Oh, not no. necessarily progress. Picked up some rope. Oh, rope. A backpack. Astronomer's journal. Three <gasps> rations. Three rations. Taking and your shit. Sorry, dude. Who? A finely wrought telescope used for astronomical observations. Its lenses are no doubt the product of some of the Empire's finest hyalomancers and allows stars to be observed even in full daylight. That's an interesting thing. Hyalomancers are Imperial Magi specialized in the crafting of glass. Huh, okay. okay, neat. Let's take a look at the seas. You look out upon the churning gray royal that surrounds the windswept shores of Idra. Far out there among the great waves and beating winds, you swear you momentarily see a great glistening shape shifting just beneath the surface. Whatever madness has befallen this island, you are certainly safer here than on any ship out there. <laughs> I don't think that's true, but okay. I do not think that's true. Uh, let's take a look at the sky in general. You point the telescope skywards, and after a few moments of searching, you find a gap where the stormy skies have parted just enough to allow you to examine the stars in their firmament. Examine it more closely. Star uh, only has a lower score. Try selecting cat and... Nah, she has a lower score of one as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, then we'll have to leave. Though you re oh, sorry. Though you realize your knowledge of astronomy is quite lacking, you are nonetheless left with a feeling of wrongness that you can't quite explain. Hmm. Well, back into the horrible puke caves. Also, star spawn is a terrifying name for a plant. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. I've played Bloodborne, and that's a terrible, terrifying name for a plant. Oh, Bloodborne. I played Bloodborne on this very channel, in fact, and if you <laughs> haven't seen that series, you should probably go check it out. You and should. <laughs> it's oh no. Oh no. Not looking good. Oh no. What is Masterwork that? Masterwork Noble's <gasps> Boots of Stealth? Holy crap! Give those to the thief immediately! Adds plus one to stealth. Okay. Oh. But you know what? Okay. It's plus one to stealth. I mean, on 2d6. On, it's plus one on 2d6. Yeah. That's a lot more important than plus one on a d20. Oop. The corpses of the doomed crew of the Zephyr are arranged around the chamber's central column. A pale light shines down from an aperture in the vaulted cave ceiling above, illuminating their bloated features and pale blue skin. Is there a form of artistry to their arrangement? For a brief moment, you almost find it beautiful. The thought comes into your mind unbidden. An interloper. So, just to, <laughs> just to like, kind of put this in perspective. I am okay with fighting horrible monsters. I am okay with zombies. I am okay with end-of-the-world shenanigans in, in video games and whatever. Shit getting into my head this freaks is terrifying. me out. This is terrifying. It's awesome. <laughs> I don't like it. And it's also fucking subtle as shit. This is which great is not horror good. writing. Honestly, this is very Lovecraftian and I love it. Ugh. Stepping between the corpses, you spot a man who you immediately recognize as the Zephyr's first mate. Around his neck, a sturdy chain glimmers, and you carefully fish out a strange octagonal amulet, richly filigreed and with the navigational rosette of the nautical guild carved on it. This is no doubt the captain's seal, and is apparently an item that the guild will pay handsomely to have returned to them. As you pocket the amulet, mm. you become aware of movement in the waters around you. 
Strange, stalked eyes regard you as several of the chitinous horrors emerge. No doubt the abominations have come to feed on the flesh of the dead. Or the living. Let's see if we can get away. Must roll Come five on, or above. Cat. Seven. Yes. Nailed it. You carefully step away from corpse <laughs> and begin to try and make your way out of the horrid chamber. Okay, we made it. Whew. Also, full Level heal time, up. baby. Ta da! I forgot to read that. Sorry. Um. That's fine. How about we get tough as nails? Not, not today. today. Um, plus one light armor use. Reduces the encumbrance of the armor when using this type of armor. Interesting. Um, so that's a use maneuver. Okay, and then we put one into that. All right. So now we will probably not immediately die when attacked. <laughs> right. Oh, shit. Um, what the hell are those? Albino, Albino leeches. leeches. Uh, you could try stealthing again. Uh, okay, good. Uh, hold on. Pass a turn, pass a turn, pass a turn. There we go. Okay. Nice. So when you stealth, this is where we got ambushed, by the way. When you stealth, yeah. you don't necessarily want to move right away. You kind of have to blend in first. That's, That's good interesting. And you can also hit control to go in and out of stealth. Oh, shit. Uh, oh. Motherfucker, how? I saw us from all the way back there. I'm I'm impressed and dismayed. Giant all leech. The way like Fell animal. Ugh. She can't uh, go around. Yeah, I'm just gonna hold action until end of turn. And hold action until end of turn. Good call. Uh, oh, you should have had him go instead of holding. Oh, it looks like maybe if you click on them, they can swap. They can, but I don't. You don't really know that want I, to. I don't know that I want them to. Yeah. Yeah, have her defend then. Oh, the other two are going around. Yeah. Uh. So if you pass her turn till the end, have him move up, and then she can move up and follow him. Oh, she can shoot from there. Oh. There we go. Okay. Raw Eight piercing nice. damage. Ow. One damage is not that bad, but we are bleeding. That's probably not good. Shit. Ow. Motherfucker. Ow. How many hit points do these things have? Uh. This one is like the, the strong one. Oh, it's, it yeah, had 17 okay. and 9, I think it was. Oh, get killed! Nice Good kill. Watch that one sneaking around the back. Yep, but I think this one right in front of us is the bigger problem. Ow. Lesser bleeding strike times two? Fuck off. Blar! Nice. Good kill. Panicked! Backstab! Nice. 238 Stop. XP. Okay, right, let's and move we're... back over there and figure yeah. out what they were guarding. And we're not bleeding anymore, so that's good. They are guarding nothing. Oh, wait, no. Oh, no. Well, 61 gold. Okay. You know what? That's that's money in the bank. That's free-ish money. <laughs> okay. I hate this cave. Ah. There they are. Death, Death or, or glory. glory. Move you there. And begin combat. Bitch! Focus fire. Focus fire. I cannot fire in melee. Oh, damn it. 
least they're not actually that bad now that I've got leather armor on. Yeah. And more than one hit point left. Shifting. Ow. Oh. We've done okay with the uh, positioning this time, though. Yeah. Now that we're not down in one hit, it kind of helps. <laughs> All right. Much better. Much better. Fuck you, crabs. Oh, is that? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just kiting. Hmm. There's something up here. There's a person up here. Maybe we'll just Another save Another mad him. sailor? Who... Who goes there? A haggard man dressed in the livery of the nautical guild huddles apprehensively in the corner of the small chamber you're standing in. His lips are dry and cracked and he appears to be parched. Dead Emperors, please tell me you found a way out of this pit. What are you doing here? They took the bodies of the drowned men and women I've known for years, all blue and swollen, dragged them into this cave. Crabs as big as horses. How can such a thing be? What's wrong with this place? In any case, I was too weak to fight back when I landed and they must have thought I was dead. Dragged me into the darkness, but when I heard those sounds, claws rending dead flesh, something awoke in me. I kicked and screamed as best I could and they let me go. I ran as fast as I could, but I took a turn in the darkness and ended up here. I could hear them moving about in the caves around me and I didn't dare try to make it out. If you hadn't come here, I'd have died from thirst. The way out should be clear for you now. Thank you so much. I'll live to see another day. By the golden dead, I'll be mending my wicked ways if I make it out of here. No more dice and whoring. You, you know, he says that, but <laughs> in like five days, he's going to be If we find him in a dice. village, he's going to be back to dice and whoring. <laughs> yeah, 100%. good luck. The desperate man wastes no time scrambling past you and towards fresh air and relative safety. That was Ari. Cat seems flustered. Poor bastard. Sounds like he's losing his mind the way he was talking. Trapped down here for days? He's a narse, but he didn't deserve that. None of them did. She's supposed to have a British accent. <laughs> and... Pick it. Aww. Aww, snake eyes. Pick it. There we go. There we go. Cure disease and cure poison. And she leveled up. Hey. Every step forward is worth celebrating, no matter how small. Keep going, and soon the path behind you will be longer than the path ahead. So... One more rank makes that increase stealth. Uh, yeah... Survivor Initiate. Critical Resistance? Oof. Mm. Mobility Initiate. Backstab Initiate. Mmm. Well, I get increased backstab damage. It's just a good time for everybody, except the people getting backstabbed. Who gives right? a shit about them? Not me. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, next time on Character Select, this cave sucks. It's full of horrible crab mutants. But I think maybe we killed them all? Question mark. Hopefully. Uh, but thank you very much for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below if you liked it. And <sighs> I hate this. <laughs> Cthulhu stuff, like, like I said, the stuff in the head gets in my fucking head. I don't like it. <laughs>